always really positive. He's, you know, he's a light-hearted dude. I've always been a fan of his ability, his racing determination. Checo has something in his brain where his right foot and the throttle and what the tires are doing are all connected. And he has that ability to save rear tires, to get them to the, the edge of the grip that's required. And maybe that skill is also good on street circuits. I think he's not afraid of going close to the barrier. He's, you know, he's a hustler. You know, he pushes the car. And I think that that type of racetrack suits him. And that's why we've always seen him go very well at street circuits. He's not afraid of getting close to the barrier. He has the ability to read and run fine margins, you know, very, very well. And that's always been one of his key strengths. Vamos, Checo. Unbelievable. What a drive. This is how we do it, man. We shut our mouth and we work hard. This is the Mexican way. Well done, guys. His clinical and his overtaking, and never give up until the checkered flag. Checo quiere recuperar la punta que perdió en la primera vuelta, y ahí está con maniobra arriesgada, con bloqueo, lo superó a Fernando Alonso. Scenarios really help highlight the driver more so than the overall team, and that's when it rains in the street circuits. Every now and then, you see a driver really you show his performance, his, his ability a little bit more than perhaps the person that's next to him. Checo, it's laser accurate in terms of picking your apex, not hitting a, hitting a concrete barrier or an armco, making sure you're getting your braking points. I don't think it's necessarily only the streets. I mean, I think Checo in general is, of course, a very good driver, so there is no surprise uh, you know, that he is doing uh, well here. I think we had a good battle. You know, we were pushing the whole stint, and I think we tried to be as close as we could be. It was huge. I mean, that was a very complete weekend for him. To do sprint and, and Grand Prix was a huge performance by him. I remember Checo coming in and saying, I'm going to beat Nico Hulkenberg, and I thought, there's no way. And the first year, it was very close, but Nico got him, and the second year, Checo got him. Checo's his strength was racing, and Nico's strength was qualifying, and we had to teach Nico how to race. And Nico learned uh, how to modulate the throttle to conserve the tires from Checo and Checo does it naturally. If Checo is confident that his abilities can control that car, you can put it to the edge a lot quicker, a lot better, and you gain that confidence. And it took him a few races to recover, so drivers finding form at different, at different times. But I, he's clearly won races, he knows how to, to be competitive, so uh, I'm expecting him to bounce back every weekend. any sport you're trying to get to the top there is always going to be someone trying to find your weaknesses in the position of Checo it's a little bit of a rough patch for him for sure like that's that's uh, obviously everyone's liking to make it very public but I don't yes we're all competitors and we all fighting for our seats or for something else but I don't I definitely don't wish that on anyone you know because it's after going through it, yeah, it's, it's tough. You know, when he's under pressure is when he actually delivers the most. And I think that, um, you know, Checo has, has done a phenomenal job at, at so many races uh, this year. His day's always been the Sunday rather than the Saturday, but uh, he's put in some great drives this year. He's finished second to Max five times so far. Um, he's up against maybe the greatest talent of the current generation. So that's tough for any driver in this, in this paddock. And I think you know, the maturity that he's dealt with that has been, uh, has been impressive. And he's a very popular member of the team. Yeah! There are a lot of corners, probably the most corners of the, the year uh, on a single lap. So it's very, very demanding. And uh, I think it's the scene of Checo's best victory here last year in 2022 and uh, in really challenging conditions. It was a crazy race because, you know, it was wet, it was drying, getting the crossover onto the slicks. He got Charles Leclerc never more than a car length behind him. It was huge pressure and uh, he handled the pressure so well uh, and was able to, uh, you know, put in a, a phenomenal performance. This is a Mexican play. Well done, guys.
La gente se olvida que la Fórmula 1 no solo es complicadísimo llegar, sino es complicadísimo mantenerse. Siempre hay gente llegando, siempre hay gente quitándote, queriendo quitarte el puesto, ¿no? Y, y mantenerte tantos años en Fórmula 1 es eh, meritorio, como lo ha hecho Checo. You know, longevity is key. It's a very grueling career and, and season, and it's not for everyone. And it's very hard for, you know, some drivers come in and unfortunately get squeezed out quickly. So those ones that have stayed have obviously had great commitment and, and have delivered, uh, you know, weekend in, weekend out, year on year, which is, um, which is not easy to do. Expectations are always huge, particularly for any driver at their home race, but particularly for Checo in Mexico, they're even more heightened. And hopefully we can give him a good car and he can fight for that win. El calor de la afición se siente. Sé que Checo es favorito, obviamente, aquí, pero creo que después de Checo a la gente le, 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 le gusta en México y eso lo noto. Me da muchísimo apoyo y, y un buen feeling. Being realistic, it's not. I don't think it's possible for Richard to, to catch them. I mean, we're in Mexico, which is often a strong race for him. Uh, we only have four races. That means you're going to have to get, what is it, like at least eight points or something more than. So it's not so easy. It's a race that Checo can win this year, so uh, it makes it even more exciting. I've known Checo for many, many years. He drove for my team in, in Formula 2. I've always been a fan of his, his ability, his racing determination. As soon as he became available, became my priority to convince um, the group uh, to take him alongside Max. We needed a driver alongside Max that had experience, that, that had a, you know, wide shoulders, uh, because being teammate to Max Verstappen is not an easy job. Of course, as teammates, you want to beat each other. That's how F1 works. Three years ago, he was looking at retirement, and now he's, uh, he's second in the World Championship. It's probably the strongest pairing, you know, we've ever had in, in Red Bull Racing. You know, as steely as Checo is and as driven as he is to do the best he can, uh, and the fact that he's the best Mexican Formula One driver ever now, most importantly, he is a really nice human being. The world and Mexico will remember him for his accolades in racing and Formula One, but I will remember him for being the human being that he is. Mantenerte tantos años en Fórmula 1 es meritorio, como lo ha hecho Checo. En tantos equipos diferentes siempre la gente habla bien de él, siempre ha dejado amigos, siempre ha dejado buena sensación a todos los equipos a los que ha ido, y eso habla muy bien de Checo. Checo, para ser campeón del mundo, tiene que hacer lo que justamente está haciendo pues, todos los años. ¿no? Cada año ha ido superándose, buscando dónde es débil y trabajando ese punto débil. El objetivo ya es claro, ¿no? lo único que me queda por conseguir en la Fórmula 1 es ganar en casa y ser campeón del mundo.